Hi, I just wanted to make this uh, fast video about this full screen 1080p or even 4K possibility to play this game. This is a very old game, as you can, you probably already know. And I don't usually do this kind of videos anymore because I'm really bad at explaining things. English is not my main language, and you can see that soon enough. But anyway, one reason also doing this video because there is no at least what I've tried to find, like how do you run this game full screen? Everybody just said in discussion or guides or anywhere in the internet that it's not possible with this game. But thankfully I found one site uh, that recommended two ways to do that, and both seems to be working. I tried this one, Expanding Fronts 1.5. I'm gonna leave this in the description, well as this one. What's the difference? Well, this is an um, all-in-one patch. It doesn't change anything, as you can see, widescreen support and some kind of other things, stability and such. And the link is right here, Google Drive. You can download that. It's probably some kind of exe file which patches the game and you should be able to play it full screen. I didn't test this one because I like the additional content which this mod expanding front springs, like eight new civilizations and such. So I downloaded this one, and uh, yeah, firstly I didn't get it working. Um, this is the game file, game folder in Steam. It looks like this, or at least it should. And this is the mod file which you download from that side, um, this one. Once you open it, it looks, well, similar. <laughs> And there is this folder, game folder. It's very easy to install. Just drag and drop to your game file, I mean folder, because there is the same named folder. And it just kind of overwrites everything. It asks you yes or no. Just put yes. But right now I'm putting no because I've already done that. And then you go here and uh, you use this except. Except the first time you do this, well, there is uh, instructions here as well. But I'm just gonna explain this fast. Uh, you put this first, I mean click the configurator. It kind of patches the game files, it kind of takes a while, at least it took me. And you should use windowed mode because what I read, if you use just full screen, full screen, <laughs> then there is all kind of um, uh, problems that it can have. At least I had some kind of problems. It didn't launch and crashes and such, so in the windowed mode it worked just fine. And these are my settings if you want to copy this. And uh, yeah, then you just save and exit and use this um, exe file, Battlegrounds X2, to launch the game. You probably should create a shortcut, less I'd have, because uh, you cannot launch it through Steam. At least I couldn't. I tried uh, with this kind of a um, setting that reads right here, launch options. I can link this too, but it doesn't work with me, it just crashes the game, so I have to use this uh, exe file from the folder. And it does look like this, blah 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 blah, and if you want to change something again, it's the same configurator. There you go, my English is perfect. So when you launch the game, wow, it didn't work. Well, actually it did, but in this option menus, it cannot go to the full screen, but once you're in the battle or in the game, it will be. Boom. And there you go. Fully functional game in full HD. It should support 4K as well, but I can't confirm that because I don't simply have 4K screen. Yeah, I never really played this game, but I always want to. So, no, I can. And it already feels... I played one match and it feels so dang good. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully it works with you as well. As I already said probably a million times, I just wanted to make this video to inform others. Because I couldn't find video like this anywhere that it confirms that, yeah, it works. So hopefully you get it working. I'm trying to answer some questions if you have, but uh, I'm not a tech guy, so uh, yeah. See ya.